Hello guys and welcome to another vlog. I hope you're all doing really well and having a great start to February. So it's currently nine o'clock in the morning and I've just got ready because today I'm having a at home shooting content day. I'm filming a Valentine's get ready with me style real thing. I've got a really clear vision of what I want it to be in my head and I'm just really hoping my vision translates into reality. So yeah, it's like a very aesthetic video, which isn't my normal kind of style. I've been seeing so many of these beautiful aesthetic videos and I really wanted to see if I can do one myself. And it's actually for a campaign that I'm doing over my Instagram. By the time this video is live, the campaign will be live, so you'll be able to see it. And yeah, because the video is really aesthetic, I really want all of the details to be perfect. I just kind of make the whole thing really pretty and well put together. So as you can see, I've done most of my hair and makeup. I've just got to do a couple like finishing touches. And one thing that's really important for me is jewelry as well in videos. I feel so naked when I have no jewelry on and I just think they are that final touch that finish off any outfit so well. And as you guys know, I'm a massive fan of jewelry and I'm actually partnering up with Paul Valentine on this section of the video, which is so exciting because I've been wearing their jewelry for months and months now. It's the kind of jewelry as well that I don't take out, I leave it in all the time because I'm kind of lazy and I just like to have it on me all the time. So I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys of the things I'm wearing at the moment and they also really kindly sent me out some new bits as well. So I'll show you the new bits and what I've been wearing the last couple of months as well. So I'll start off with the most questioned about item. I think I probably get about five messages a day about where my earrings are from. So I've been wearing these for about two or three months now. Honestly, I haven't actually taken these out, which is probably bad. Actually, no, I have to clean them a couple of times. But other than that, I don't take them out. I've just zoomed you guys in a bit. I've got these two here. The first one is this beautiful huggy with these like diamante studs going round. It's gold. And then it's got this really cute pearl at the end, which I just love. Weirdly, I was never really into pearl jewelry. It never caught my eye. Then they sent me these. I think in like November time and I've been obsessed with them. I think they just look really classy, really classic. And then this one here is like a double stud kind of thing. So it's like a diamante stud and then another pearl at the bottom. So it's kind of like a two in one earring, which I really like. And together they just match perfectly. And they just think they're so cute. I've also got them in this ear as well, of course. And then I also ordered this beautiful ear cuff and I just thought this was so pretty and so like elegant looking. Here's what it looks like up close. Like look how gorgeous that is. So I'm just gonna pop this in now. Um, I love ear cuffs as well because obviously you don't need a piercing to be able to wear them and then you just kind of pinch it just so it doesn't fall out and there you go, look how pretty that is. So you can also like stack those which is really cool, I kind of wish I got more now. Another item I'm always getting asked about is my gold chain, this is something again that I really rarely take off, sometimes I do when I'm tanning but yeah otherwise it does stay on because it's just such an easy classic necklace that just goes with any outfit. Yeah I just feel a bit naked when I'm not wearing it weirdly. All the jewellery I'm wearing is 18 karat plated gold and like I said, I've been wearing them for a few months now and they haven't tarnished at all. Um, not in the slightest, even the earrings, which I wear, you know, in the shower, to bed, everything. And they are still perfect, which is always something I really look out for with jewellery. Because there's nothing worse than spending your money on jewellery for it to then tarnish. Another necklace I've had for quite a long time. And this one I wear on off. Um, this isn't like an everyday necklace. It's just this really beautiful, minimal um, kind of like a flat curve necklace. As you can see, it's just this really flat, very dainty, minimalistic chain. And yeah, even though it's so simple, I just think it's beautiful. I'll put this on now so you can see. I absolutely love layering gold necklaces as well. I think it's so beautiful. And then I have these two bracelets here, which again, haven't come off my wrist since I got them. So we've got the pearl one, which is just beautiful. And I love the way it ties in with the earrings. And it's on this kind of really dainty double chain. And then I've got like a plain chain here, which is kind of like this twisted gold style, which again, very simple, but together I just think they look really pretty. And then my watch as well. So this is another item I've had for a few months, but we have been in lockdown. So I haven't actually managed to get it resized yet so it is actually quite big for me which is why i don't wear it every day but since the shops are open i'm going to get this refitted because i think this is beautiful i'll take it off so i can show you guys properly so this is their iconia watch which is a mix between gold and silver it's made out of stainless steel so again it's not going to tarnish and this will last really well i've actually got a few of their watches and the quality is really good it's 
it's also got this really beautiful white pearl finish on the watch face which i just think is a really nice feature and nice little detail of it and again i just think this is such a classic watch it's not going to go out of style and for me watches just elevate any outfit immediately makes them look so much more kind of put together a bit more mature and yeah they're another thing that i feel a bit naked when i don't wear and then the final things that i've been wearing are my rings so these are new i haven't actually been wearing these very long i got this ring here to match with my earrings and my bracelet i'm a huge fan of like the really simple clean bands i just think they're very feminine and quite modern as well and then the other rings i picked up were these which are like a two-in-one kind of situation again with the pearl that i'm just obsessed with on the really thin band and then there's like semi-circle diamante one which just sits very neatly on top and they also sent me a couple of new bits which i haven't tried on yet so first one i've also got a couple of new bits which i haven't tried on yet so the first one is this beautiful bracelet i believe this is part of their tea bar collection i just think this is so nice and i'm obsessed i love the kind of like a regular chain I like this wrist here is looking a bit empty so i'm gonna put it on my right wrist oh that's so nice i love how chunky it is as well i'm actually obsessed with this this is so nice i love the the t-bar fastening it's also a good everyday bracelet because it's not too thick and chunky that is like a huge statement but it is like a bit of a statement in itself without being too empowering so i think that's gorgeous the last item i've got to show you guys is this beautiful necklace and this is definitely a bit more bling than what I normally go for around my neck. I normally keep things quite simple, but I really wanted something that would elevate a very simple kind of dressy outfit. Okay, this is so beautiful. It looks so expensive as well. And this is such a classic style that's been around for so long. And this immediately just kind of screams Audrey Hepburn to me. I don't know why. And although it is very simple and minimal, for me, this wouldn't be like an everyday necklace. I wear this to more of like an event kind of situation. This with like an all black outfit would just immediately elevate it, make it look so much more expensive. And I just think this is so beautiful i'll have everything from paul valentine linked down below but definitely check out their jewelry selection because they have some beautiful pieces which are all obviously amazing quality and they're also really affordable as well anyway the time is now 25 past nine so i need to get going because i have no idea how long this is going to take me and i don't want the light to go and yeah i'll show you guys some bts of me filming this instagram campaign okay so this is my little setup here i'm going to be standing here i've got my ring light on i've got my camera attached to the tripod and then i've written like a little mini breakdown of everything i'm going to be showing in the reel so i randomly decided that i wanted to have like a scene in the reel with champagne because it kind of gives you that valentine's day feel and i don't have any champagne so i last minute did a delivery order from the co-op and it literally came in 10 minutes so i ordered the champagne or maybe it was prosecco yes yeah, prosecco and i just felt like it was such a waste to not order other things so i also ordered some Corn pieces, some mushrooms, I was thinking about making tacos tonight, um, some strawberries because again they give me like Valentine's Day vibes and some Marmite so honestly the most random delivery ever. The person packing this must have thought I was having a breakdown or something because it is literally 10 o'clock in the morning but yeah i've got the goods so that's the main thing okay so for the first montage bit of the reel i'm going to be just doing like my hair makeup putting in jewelry putting on perfume that kind of thing so, yeah and normally this takes quite a few takes just because i like to make it perfect okay that should hopefully do Currently just filming on my phone because I don't want my camera to die. Um, I feel like a psychopath for opening champagne at this time in the morning on my own on a Tuesday, Wednesday? What day is it today? It's Wednesday today. And I'm obviously not going to be drinking it right now because I've got stuff to do today. So, um, yeah, it's a shame I haven't got anyone to share it with. Okay. I'm sharing it with you guys, I guess. Ready? Oh, that's good. So normally if I'm doing wine, the trick is, instead of using actual wine and wasting wine, have a glass of water and add a tiny bit of soy sauce and it looks the same as wine. So that's a little trick, um, trick of the trade. Anyway, I'm now going to film the second part of the video, which is gonna be sat on the piano. The sun has just come out as well. I don't know if that's 
a good thing or a bad thing. Sometimes it like makes the photo, sometimes it just makes the lighting really bad. Okay, so I've just finished shooting and I've done a really, really quick edit, like a rough edit. Wow, the sun's bright. Just to see if I've kind of got it right. And I think I have. And it's the kind of video that has to be perfect or it's not gonna look right. And it's not my normal kind of video. So I was a bit, not nervous, but apprehensive about it. And if it's gone right, I'm gonna be so happy. But yeah, it's taking me all day, which is crazy because it's gonna be like 30 seconds long. But yeah, it was just really, really important to me to get this. Right. I just wanna feel it like it's just what I do when I'm out so try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this. Good evening guys, I've just been editing on the sofa. Um, it's the evening and it's still bright, which is the nicest thing ever. Finally, it's not dark all day long. So I just finished up editing that video. Did I even tell you who the video was for? I don't think I did. It's a campaign over on my Instagram for Pen Halligans, which is such a dream country for me because as a lot of you will know, I am obsessed with their perfume. It's been my favorite for years. I'm always talking about them. And yeah, they wanted to work with me, which just makes me die a bit inside because I can't believe I get those kind of opportunities and yeah it was definitely a very special and big moment for me uh, so yeah like I said I'll link it down below let me know what you guys think of it I just sent it to B and she said it's so good very proud of you how cute is she B is still in Brighton by the way guys um, some people were asking on my last video I don't know when she's gonna be home but yeah I am really missing her and very quiet without her so um, hopefully it's not too long i feel so ready for life to go back to normal like i feel like so far with the whole covid situation i've been very patient with it i've just been taking every day as it comes but now i'm like very ready to go back to normal life i'm just missing everyone so much like i miss everyone who's close to me crazy amounts and i just wish i could go and hug my mom and b and Jasper, but yeah, I'm not complaining because I'm aware that lots of people have it a lot worse than me. I've just been tidying up from today, and these these feathers are cute. They were on the end of my pajamas. I think you guys saw. I can't remember. Um, but oh my god, they make so much mess. So I've just taken them off. Luckily, they're detachable, but they're really cute pajamas. Yeah, they're just from New Look, and I love the feathers, but they're just not practical. It literally looks like there's been an incident with a bird or something. Guys, look at the sunset tonight. How incredible is this? I actually can't believe it. It's so beautiful. Nothing can break me. Nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at the beautiful stars. I want to take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me. Good morning guys, it is now Thursday um, and I'm just doing my makeup so I thought I'd do it with you guys. Um, this is like my no makeup makeup when I just want to feel a little bit more kind of alive and put together. Um, so I've primed it using my Laura Mercier protecting primer. This has an SPF 30 in it, yeah SPF 30. I'll then use my Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter in the shade 3. This is so perfect for no makeup days because it's so natural has such a skin finish but it just gives you a bit of colour to your face. As you can see my face is very kind of colourless right now so I think it needs a bit more warmth to it. Um, so I just blend that all in for Kabuki brush. So this afternoon I'm going to the dentist and guys I'm so excited to go to the dentist. It's not normal. It'll be the first time I've left the house to actually go somewhere and do something to be somewhere at like a certain time in months. And like, I'm actually going to be able to see somebody and speak to somebody. So yeah, I feel like it's Christmas. And I'm also really excited because my dentist, Dr. Christina, 
is basically like a friend now i think she's wonderful um and i always just really look forward to kind of seeing her and chatting so yeah it feels like i'm going to be going to see a friend and by the way dentists are allowed to be open still but everyone is wearing like full ppe masks the lot so it's nice and safe and the practice i'm going to today is a new one um so normally i go to the one in battersea and they've had a complete rebrand a complete revamp and um, they've got a beautiful new like state-of-the-art clinic in Battersea Power Station. So yeah, I can't wait to see that as well. Am I in focus? So for concealer, I'm using the same one as I always use, which is the Rimmel Lasting Radiance. I normally just pat this in with my finger. So a little Invisalign update. I have had my Invisalign since the summer. I was supposed to finish in like December, but um, we're just doing a couple of little tweaks and refinements to do that you have to have a whole new dental plan and then invisalign have to make the actual aligners themselves so it takes quite a while and dr k and i did quite a lot of like back and forth going going through my new scans because basically they scan your teeth i think i showed this in the vlog i'll link the vlog down below um they scan your teeth and then she edits them to how they're going to be at the end and there was a couple of things i was like quite unsure about so i kind of like raised my concerns with her and we went back and forth and then it got to the end result and I could approve it and then they made the aligners. So it's been a good two months since I last got new aligners. So I've had the same ones in for quite a while um, and I can't wait to get new ones because, because yeah, it's just the nicest feeling having fresh aligners. Um, oh, I'm just going in with my brows. I'm using my Bare Minerals Brow Master, which is my all-time favourite for my eyebrows. So yeah, basically the concern I had with the scans that she sent over. So she's pushing my front two teeth forward quite a bit. And that's because I'm going to have like a invisible wire behind my teeth just so they don't move once the Invisalign treatment is over. And because my teeth are moving forward, that's also pushing my lip forward as well. So it was basically changing kind of the way I was looking. And although that's a really good thing because basically if it's pushing my lip forward, it's just giving my lip a bit more support and kind of making them look a little bit bigger, I guess, as well. But my only concern of that is that when I smile, my bottom lip now really rests on my front two teeth. So when I smile, it kind of looks like I have a little bit of an underbite sometimes. Wait, can you see? I mean, I don't think you're really gonna be able to see, but it's just different to how it was before. And I was just a bit worried about changing like the shape of my face and, and like changing my smile. And yeah, I don't really want to change my face and stuff at all. So yeah, I worked with Dr. K to kind of like work around this and think of a way to stop that happening. Dr. K is also a facial contourist, I think it is. So she does like a lot of facial contouring at another clinic she works at. Um, so she knows a lot about the face and sort of what things are gonna work. So I do really trust her and I know that she's gonna give me the best result possible. So I'm really excited to get my Invisalign off now because it has been quite a while and we're kind of on the home stretch now so i'm ready for them to come off but i think i'm gonna have about another about another two months i think okay now i'm gonna bronze my face using my new favorite bronzer this stuff is so good it smells exactly like malibu which is kind of funny but anyway the consistency is honestly amazing um it's like a really creamy buttery consistency and it blends so beautifully I also love the colour, it's very kind of warm but not too orange. Oh my god, and another thing guys, I dermaplaned my face for the first time the other day. I'm really like, I'm really trying out all of these new beauty things and beauty products and beauty treatments and stuff while we're having this time at home. Just because I feel like it's the perfect time to do really and I really don't have much better to be doing with my spare time. So if you don't know, dermaplaning is when you get like a kind of sharp razor blade and you just and you just go along your face and it gets rid of peach scars it gets rid of dead skin um it's a great way to exfoliate and i was just a bit concerned that the hair would grow back thicker everyone i know who's done it has said it doesn't grow back thicker so let's hope it doesn't but i just did it because basically i've had laser here and so there's no hair growing here and then i just had kind of peach fuzz like everywhere else and it just meant that my makeup was sticking differently to different parts of my face and it just looked like there were different textures going on so i thought Do you know what i'm just going to get rid of all of it um so i did exactly that and my makeup is going on so much better it just gives you that really flawless glass look to the skin and i just am obsessed i only did it a few days ago though so i don't know quite how it's going to grow back so i'll keep you guys updated with that powder i'm just gonna go in with my laura mercier translucent powder and yeah while we're on the subject of hair 
I'm really sorry if I'm going in and out of focus, guys, this camera. So as a lot of you will know, I have been having laser hair removal for about a year now. And because of the lockdown, so I had about half my treatment, then we went into the last lockdown. And then after that was lifted, I had my other half. Um, but we kind of had to start again because I hadn't had it for like maybe five months. Um, so we started again and then we're almost finished and now we've gone into another lockdown. So it's again like disrupted the process, which is so frustrating because basically when you stop getting laser, the hair just kind of comes back unless you finish the whole course of treatment and I haven't done that yet. So I have got myself a at home laser kit because I've heard that they're a great way to maintain what you already have from the laser clinic. So yeah, I'm kind of hoping it will stop my hair growing back because pre-lockdown, my hair was barely existing. It just didn't really grow back at all, which is amazing. I was shaving maybe once a month, if that. But now I have noticed like the hair has been coming back, which is kind of frustrating. So yeah, I'm hoping that this at-home laser kit will do the job. I won't tell you guys what it is yet because if it doesn't work, I don't want to advertise something that doesn't work obviously you use it once a week so i've used it twice now i use it every sunday so far i haven't seen any kind of result but it says you have to use it for like a month or two before you start seeing anything so yeah i'll keep you in the loop with that but um yeah coming out of lockdown if any of you are considering getting laser hair removal honestly do it it is the best thing I've ever done. Like knowing you don't have to shave or wax is just the nicest feeling. It saves you so much time and energy and it's just nice as well that when the hair does grow back, it's barely existent. Yeah, I'm looking forward to hopefully when lockdown is lifted, going back and finishing my treatment finally. Um, but yeah, up until then, I'm just gonna do it myself and um, hopefully it works. And then just to finish off my makeup, I'm gonna add a little bit of blush. This is the iconic London blush in powder pink. I feel like adding blush just makes any look look so much more natural and, and just so pretty as well. And then finally, I'm just gonna use my Rimmel London Lasting Finish Lip Pencil in the shade Tiramisu. With my Pixi London Collagen Volumizing Lip Balm. So yeah, that's my no makeup makeup tutorial. Um, I am now going to find out where I have to park at the new dentist. Does that really stress anyone else out? Like when you go to a new place and you don't know where you're going to park. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to try to figure that out so I don't get stressed. Just making a quick smoothie before I head to the dentist. So in today's smoothie we have avocado, banana, mixed berries and some carrots weirdly i had loads of carrots in the fridge that needed using up so i just chopped them up and then i'm going to add a teaspoon of the beauty chef <laughs> avocado makes smoothies so thick i'm just going to pop a lid on this so i can have it in the car as i need to head off now in case i'm in the car put my smoothie with me dentist appointment am i in focus probably not such a gorgeous neat practice um so modern and so clean i just need to pay for my parking ticket so i see dr k as well and everyone at the practice so i've got another roughly 10 weeks so over two months possibly three months left to go they also took off my like little attachments yeah they've taken those off which feels really weird because it's kind of felt like i've had braces on for the last six or so months so those are off which is lovely and i got some new aligners oh best fresh new aligners where's my hand sanitizer and they give you one of these like chewy things and you have to chew down on them to mold the retainer to your teeth slightly better so yesterday i said i was gonna make tacos for dinner but i didn't get around to it so i'm gonna make them tonight instead um, here's everything i'm gonna put into the wok so we've got some corn for some protein um, I'll add lots of spinach, I will add some chopped tomatoes, garlic, mushrooms and then just some mixed 
frozen veggies. So I'll literally just pop all of this into the wok and then heat up a tortilla wrap and pop it inside that. Oh, and I want seasoning as well. And then just to season it, I've mixed some about a tablespoon of paprika with some a little bit of cumin, some oregano, salt, pepper. And then in my wrap, I've just got a plain tortilla wrap with some guacamole, sour cream, some spinach, and I'm just gonna add everything that is in the wok here inside. My little dinner looks so pathetic. I'm just gonna sit on the sofa and watch Married at First Sight Australia. I haven't seen this, but everyone has been raving about it. So I'm gonna give it a go. I've just finished up dinner and it was lovely. Honestly, I think most of my meals probably take me under 15 minutes, mostly because I just don't enjoy cooking. Um, but I do enjoy eating healthy food. So yeah, that was really simple. But I have to say I am missing Bee's cooking because she loves cooking. She'll spend hours in the kitchen making all of this amazing food. So missing that. I'm just gonna give the kitchen a tidy up and then make myself a cup of tea. The Instagram reel I was filming yesterday is just uploading. Um, did I tell you guys about what happened with my Wi-Fi? I actually can't remember if I have. But basically, as a lot of you all know, I've been having so many issues with my Wi-Fi. It's the slowest thing ever, so we switched to a new one. They tried to install the new one twice, they couldn't do it. So there was a lot of going back and forth. And then two and a half months later from... Actually, no, it was three months later from the day I ordered the new Wi-Fi. They emailed me to say that they can't fit the Wi-Fi. Apparently, there's a missing cable and it's impossible. So back to square one of the whole Wi-Fi situation. But it's actually so annoying that you just gotta laugh a brand called the comfort cookie co really kindly sent me a box of cookies the other day i've eaten half of them but oh my god they're so good so i had a lotus biscoff one this is white chocolate and raspberry this is kinder bueno they are insane they gave me a code as well so i'll put the code on the screen if you guys wanted to order some homemade cookies to your home i just popped the cookie in the microwave because it tastes so much better when it's melted like how good does that look and first impressions of Married at First Sight Australia is very intense. People on here are from all different backgrounds and I just get the feeling people are gonna be clashing so much, um, but it's quite entertaining. My plan for the rest of the evening is to watch a bit more of Married at First Sight Australia. Then I'm gonna do some editing and a bit of work, put in a hair mask and then head to bed. So I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I also hope that you're all keeping well and safe during this lockdown. So yeah, I love you all so, so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, I just whacked myself in the face. Bye. Mwah.